Hey guys, this is your friend Maina from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on estimation using MS Excel. So friends, in today's session, we'll show you how to find out the quantity or the artwork quantity of any particular building using the structural drawing of the building and using MS Excel software. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. So now, first of all, this is the uh, Excel sheet in which we are going to find out uh, the estimation and uh, today we are going to discuss about the artwork part. So uh, there are various ways in which you can do this. Let's, uh, you know, let me show you the way in which I find the most convenient one. So basically the artwork is the first step which has been done in a building before, you know, starting any building. Firstly, the layout and the marking for the footing is done as per the structural drawing and then the artwork is done. So during the artwork, we need to excavate for the depth up to which we could need to go below the, uh, below the uh, ground level. And also we need to keep a certain portion extra so that we can provide the PCC or the sand filling area below the foundation. So it is the PCC is generated again three inch extra from all sides of the footing. So having said that, let's uh, you know uh, actually calculate the artwork quantity for our foundation. So uh, this is the structural drawing. First of all, as you can see, we have to check out what are the types of foundations which we have. So we have F1, F1, and then F2, and then F3, and then F4. So we have to simply just check how many types of footings we have for plus let's start with F1. So let's check how many F1 we have. So we have one F1 here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then 8, 9. So there are 9 types of F1, 10. So there are 10 types of F1, 10 number of F1 actually, which we have here. And then uh, the area that is the length and the breadth area of the F1 also let's mention it here. So the area of the F1 will be, this is the area of the F1, uh, you can uh, simply, you know, copy this uh, part and uh, since, since we are, you know, we, we will provide 3 inch extra on all sides, let's take an offset, go enter, 75 mm and then take an offset here and then select this and find out the area. You can simply check the area of it and you can also, you know, uh, you know, just check from the footing schedule also. Uh, the area but I'm using this so this is in mm square for the uh, particular uh, meter square we need to go six places one two three four five uh, one two three four five six one point five six is the area of your f1 so let's do this as one point five six as you can check here so this is how we can uh, calculate the area of the particular f1 So let us also calculate the area of uh, footing which is required or the area of excavation which is required for F1. We can take 75 mm or 3 inches extra on all sides. This is for F1 and also let, let's take one for F2 as well. So this one is for F2. We'll just use this later and this one is for F3. We can also use this, copy this. So we'll, we'll just uh, keep all this here and so that we can just find out the area for the excavation so this is f1 so we'll just take offset of 75 mm and you know just do this for all the particular footings f1 f2 f3 and this is f4 so the area of f1 which we have will take the outer one that is the one with 75 mm extra so we'll just type li enter and then check the area so this is uh, in mm square and if you convert in meter square it will be 1.38 Sorry, 1.377 that will take 1.38 and the height of the F1 let's check the height so in the schedule you will find the height schedule of footing let's check the schedule of footing for the F1 footing so the schedule says the depth of the footing is a 275 mm so 275 mm will, will be the depth of the excavation along with it as you can see 275 mm will be this one along with it we need uh, some portion for our uh, this uh, this PCC as well as the our sand filling so 1.2 meters will be the depth of the foundation so we have to excavate the 1.2 meters and uh, this 75 mm uh, from this side we had already considered the depth will be 1.2 meters plus this 100 mm so 1.2 meters starts from here so 100 mm we have to add because we need to do the sand filling 
so it will be 1.3 meters that is 1300 mm so the depth let's do this as 1.3 uh, which will exactly accurately be the same for all now now the next one f2 so number of f2 we have let's find out and this quantity will be the multiplication of the area and the height so if you just use a multiplication command here you can find out the quantity in cubic meters so let's uh, do this for the f2 so for the f2 let's check out the number of things which you have uh, check out from here so f1 was this much f2 let's check out how much f2 how many f2 you have one two three and we have exactly three f2 so three f2 we have so we'll just do this as three and then we can we'll check the area of the f2 here so this one was f2 and we'll check the area of it li enter and then we'll have area of one two three one point one so this is coming as a 1.1 meter square or square meters depth will remain the same so same case let's do with f3 f3 let's find out the area and the area is 1.56 with f3 1.56 and f3 number of footings of f3 which we have let's check so the F3 footing we have one footing and F4 also we have one footing. So we'll just check this is this will also be one and uh, the you know the area covered for the excavation of F4 let's check out Li enter this will be this area is 3.12. So we'll do this as 3.12 3.12 this is a combined footing. So this is the 3.12. So now we can verify the number of footings which you have so number of footings uh, which you have you can just uh, you know type a separate command to check uh, whether we have counted everything properly let's do use the sum command and then check so we have 15 number of footings now you can check whether we have 15 number of footings to cross verify because in any estimate there might be some error and you always need to cross verify or cross check at every step so we are counting here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have 15 footings here. So we are okay with that. So another excavation we need below the periphery wall. So what is periphery wall and how much the excavation quantity, how to find out the excavation quantity, we'll see in another video. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Keep learning. This is Mainak signing off. Bye bye.